Hello and welcome to the Revit channel. Today we're looking at 3D details. Now Revit is an amazing piece of engineering software and it's allowing us to do things that previously we've only dreamt of doing. Uh, it's also allowing us to do things like uh, details, three-dimensionally, things that would be basically close to impossible on 2D CAD or on a drawing board. The only problem is there's still certain limitations to it when it comes to the 3D file or drawing that we're busy doing. So what you really want to do is you want to you want to do a 3D detail and then kind of be able to save it and when you do a set of drawings you want to bring that 3D detail in without the 3D components showing up in your 3D model space. And that's basically what we're going to be doing today. See on the screen, I've drawn an acoustic roof detail. I'm not going to redraw that now to show you. All I've done was model the bits that I need in 3D. And then I used voids to layer the drawing so you can actually see the different components exposed. When I zoom in, you can see that. Okay. Now, a little tip. Something I did wrong here was I drew this and then cropped the view. The only problem is when you export this, then everything that's cropped won't show up in AutoCAD. It's just going to it's going to show everything that you've modeled um, and it's going to ignore the crop lines. But um, so just keep that in mind when you do a detail. Okay, so what we want to do is we want to see this detail in the set of drawings that we're busy with. Um, be an Autodesk subscriber and in your subscription panel um, you can download extras and add-ins and add-ons for Revit 2010 and you have to download the expansion pack for 2011 sorry 2011 to be able to do this okay once you've installed it you'll see you've got an add-ins button if you click on that button you go to external tools you click on that, Revit Extensions, uh, Revit Extensions Manager. You use this new function called Freeze Drawing. Select it, uh, double click. What this is going to do is it's going to change this 3D into a drafting view. The nice thing about drafting views is you can save them and you can import drafting views into other drawings. So if you only want these elements that you can actually see on the screen to appear on your drawing, what you do is you use the freeze drawing, you go down to your drafting views, and there you go. Once we've created our drafting view, it becomes quite simple from here onwards to to get this view into the set of drawings that we're busy with. What you do is you go to your drafting view, you right click and you say save to new file. Okay, let's save it on the desktop. Um, let's call this drafting view new and save okay let's close this drawing uh, do you want to save no okay there's a project that I'm busy with and I need that detail to be part of the set um, as you can see nothing's been modeled and, and detailed for that to model all that detail in this project. I want to keep this project quite lean and light when it comes to modeling because this file is going to be used to send to engineers to archive and I'm going to have to do a lot of other details. So I don't want to do all the modeling, model the whole roof just so that I can do a small detail to show how the uh, sound and acoustic insulation works. So what you're going to do is you're going to go to insert and you're going to go to insert from file okay we're going to now go and look for the detail we've just done 
which is drafting view new and say open okay you make sure it's selected and you say okay there's a couple of conflicting materials but that's fine so now if you go down to drafting views you've just imported your new detail into your project that you're busy working on at the moment and from there on it's easy in in this view you can now go and annotate it um, go text you know you can select let's try that again you can select the different members let's call that Perlin so you can carry on and detail the whole view in drafting mode and once that's complete you go to sheets um, let's find a sheet that is clean there we go go to drafting and throw it onto the page would model it in a different file and then bring it in as I've just shown you um, this will add minimum size to the drawing but still give you the the details that you require